Welcome back. We're here looking at the cryptocurrency market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 2nd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have basically broken through 40, uh, 40k and are trading at 42k at this current stage. We did get re rejected here, basically at the top of the bullish band. And kind of looks like we're leveling off now, but um, this market has been absolutely been relentless since we tested uh, 30k down here. And since then, we have basically been rallying. This kind of all started uh, by uh, rumor that Amazon was going to accept Bitcoin. Doesn't really make any sense and um, has kind of been debunked since then. But um, this market relies on rumors it uh, it um, completely uh, rallies every single time a famous person says anything good about, about this market or a famous company says something about this market and so on but probably the reason why we are finding resistant at this point is because this is where we find the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement right around here and that's where we basically pull back so from a technical standpoint usually it doesn't mean that much usually this is not a very res uh, very strong resistant but it is pulling back at this point uh, we also have the 200 moving average just above but the real test is up here at the 30 uh, 46 k which is the 50 and then the 61.8 up here at 50 uh, 50 k so if we were to get to do those points then we should um, that should offer quite a lot of resistance and breaking through those then it is very likely that we'll go back to where to the all-time highs i just don't have much faith in this market at this point as it looks like if you go back into the past we can go back to what basically happened back in um 2017 is basically here we had this massive rally giant hockey stick then we lost it lost half of its value in roughly um a few weeks and then we had a massive bounce and it very similar uh, if you look at Fibonacci retracements for this that we ran into the same Fibonacci retracements at 38.2 before continuing going down and it had several of these bounces before hitting the 200 moving average down here at the very bottom roughly at uh, at the three thousand dollars so we went from twenty thousand which is minuscule at this at this point that's basically what it rallies in a few um, in in a weekend uh, but it fell from 20k all the way down to 3k and um, yes it doesn't it can't really drop at one point it will be significantly oversold at at that stage and then before it basically see these rallies but it looks very similar to what we saw back in 2017 28 or beginning of 2018 and um, after this rally here it fell back towards uh, support rallied yet again fell down and then just continue uh, continue falling down towards the very bottom of it you know, which was roughly roughly um, 3k so we can see the similar here massive fall towards support rally up towards uh, the 38.2 Fibonacci tracement and we could see um, resistant here and then dropping back down and going towards 25 and probably to 20k but at this current stage if we look at what would happen here then we should be dropping down all the way down to 200 moving average in the long run which is at uh, 14 uh, 14k or uh, give or take but that will be the next few months and not next few days so let's look at ethereum so ethereum is significantly overstretched at this point so um, we are overbought outside of the bullish band and uh, we could be uh, pulling back uh, when the market opens on on monday if you look at fibonacci retracements for this market we can see that we are also hitting the same 38.2 fibonacci retracement and uh, yes this should be offer quite a lot of resistance um, as we are significantly overstretched and overbought but other Fibonacci other technical indicators are very bullish 
we have been rallying since the very bottom here of 16, uh, 1670. And now we're trading at 2,642. So if we manage to break uh, through this level, then the next target is 3,000. And then we go to 3,300 and then 4,000 and beyond that. Don't really think that we're going to go past this level here as we saw that was massive resistant in the past. The rare area between roughly uh, 2,700 to 3,000 should be significant resistant for this market. And if Bitcoin falls apart, then this most definitely will follow as well. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support your job. Subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.